Welcome back everyone. This is Chad with Iraq Veteran 8888 and now Argos Ordnance. If you guys have been following us on social media, you'll know that the cat is out of the proverbial bag. So we're building complete guns now. E, kind of the next logical step in this whole uh, endeavor. So um, over the years, we've tested, I don't know, dozens and dozens and dozens of, of guns and kind of come to the realization of what works and what doesn't. And um, you guys have seen a facsimile of this particular rig on the channel in multiple configurations. Uh, we've used for optics testing, suppressor testing, long range shooting, hand load development, you name it. This kind of platform has been used for that purpose. And uh, we wanted to make it available to the masses. So this is the Argos Ordnance A115 SPR. Uh, we are offering a carbine version as well. These are both in the premium series of rifles. I'm going to give you a few uh, details on this particular rig, and we're going to go and shoot um, from about 400 yards at a few targets just for fun today. So starting from the rear and moving forward, we have a Magpul A2 stock. This is the standard Mo uh, with the trap door in the rear for some extra storage. We're running a standard rifle receiver extension with a green spring co, chrome silicon spring for added reliability standard rifle buffer for the upper and lower. These are 7075 T6 aluminum and a standard type two hard coat anodized. So on the lower receiver, I like low profile and low key, all right, kind of gray man. So we went with very low profile markings on this particular receiver. Uh, I've got the Argos Ordnance um, periodic graphic on one side, very low key markings on the other with the relevant information. Plenty of room for laser engraving, which is another service that I'm offering at the shop. Ding! The grip is a BCM Mod 1. This is a reduced angle grip and sort of a low profile um, grip. It's not so fat like some of the other offerings. Uh, really fits the hand very well. And I like the reduced angle for more of the precision shooting style grip. Definitely helps with getting your finger in the right place on that trigger. Speaking of the trigger, we're running Geisley Super Semi-Automatics. We use a billet trigger guard, standard lower parts kit with an ambidextrous safety selector. The bolt carrier group is a standard mil-spec phosphate with a Carpenter 158 magnetic particle inspected bolt, and it's also high pressure tested. These are not batch process bolts. These are individually tested bolts for utmost dependability and reliability. The charging handle is a BCM. Uh, these are made by Yultor. This is the Mod 4x4 with a large ambidextrous latch. I've used iterations of this particular handle over the years and I've really fallen in love with them and want to offer them on these rifles. Moving forward, we're running one of the Ballistic Advantage uh, 416R stainless barrels. It's nitrided inside and out. Uh, this is chambered in 223 Wild with a 1 and 8 twist. These are exceptional shooting barrels. Um, I've done some accuracy work with this particular rifle and with 69 uh, grain Sierra Match Kings that we're shooting today. I've seen groups in the point sixes, uh, so easily sub MOA capable. As I move forward, I'll throw out some more data there with other ammunition that I test in this particular rig. Uh, I am also offering a barrel upgrade to one of the Centurion Mark 12. It's a 416R raw stainless. Rail system is a 15 inch cross machine and tool. UHPR Mod 2 HDX. So I chose this rail system over some of the others we've used, not only because of price, um, but also because of the thickness of the extrusion that uh, CMT uses. In combination with the extended length barrel nut, you get a lot of rigidity on the front end. I noticed with some of my other precision rigs with a thinner rail system, when I load the bipod, I'd get a little bit of flex and kind of torsion back here on the barrel nut area and it would lead to some point of impact shift down range. Now the heart of the premium series from Argos Ordnance is the rifle speed gas assembly. All right, So these are very, very new gas block assemblies and a lot of folks surprisingly haven't really heard much about them, but these are a toolless gas control with 12 settings. Okay. Easily adjustable with just your fingers, all right? No tools involved. It's a very simple and robust arrangement with just a few moving parts. So the reason that we chose the rifle speed gas control uh, as pretty much the center of the premium series, 
is because the gas system itself on an AR has always been kind of the Achilles heel of the system. There's not one gas port size that works well for every application. So the need for an adjustable gas block is paramount to customize a given setup to your individual needs. So from the factory, the rifles will come with a standard A2 birdcage. Now, I know most people are going to rip that thing off and they're going to put their muzzle device of choice or they're going to put a suppressor on it like what I've got here. This is uh, my old Hope IK, uh, the RMS, in an Area 419 taper mount. Uh, excellent, excellent system, very repeatable. Got an aluminum pick rail on the bottom, uh, M-Lock compatible with our Atlas bipod. You guys know that we love these on the channel. Um, this particular SPR is going to come with the Magpul MBUS 3s. These are the newest iteration of the polymer backup sights from Magpul. Um, I just love these things. They're kind of like the pros and uh, they're a lot cheaper. So, and they work, they work exceptionally well. Now, up top, we've got a LaRue QD mount with one of the new Mark V HD Leupolds in a two to 10, all right? This is an excellent, excellent optic for any DMR or SPR. Um, excellent glass. This one features the uh, TMR reticle. So one other note about these builds, I'm putting these builds together just like I would a personal gun of mine. So every threaded surface is coated with the proper anti-seize, lubricant, or vibratite or locking compound. Everything is torqued properly. Uh, on the carbines, the castle nuts will be staked from the factory. These rifles will be ready to go right out of the box. And uh, I've shot this one a little bit. It's had a couple hundred rounds put through it, just an initial testing to kind of see if the barrel needed to be broken in. But honestly, these nitride barrels, I found that it shot great just right out of the gate in the first magazine. So let's go back up to 400 yards. We're gonna take a few shots at some shoot steel targets and uh, show you what this rig's capable of. All right, 395 yards. All right, let's see. I haven't shot this rifle this far yet. Let's see what happens. Let's see, Kessel's showing 2.2 mills really no wind right now Let's see. And of course my glasses are fogging up okay gotcha Come up just a teeny bit. Let's try that. All right, let's go for the 10 inch. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. Go for. <laughs> And of course, the sun peeks out. Ooh, all right. Where is that gopher at? All right. There you go. really does not help when your safety glasses start fogging up. Anti-seize doesn't seem to work. Not anti-seize, listen to me. I've been assembling too many guns. Anti-fog. All right. So, hmm, I have to go back and recheck my zero. Ah, we're at uh, 2.5 mils. All right, let's uh, try another string. Very pleased with that performance from a practical standpoint. All right, let's see. Let's go back to our gopher. Where are we at here? I'm having to hold about two tenths right. It's just a tiny breeze down there blowing. 
see there. All right. I can't even see the head on the D28 because it's black. It's like blending right in. Uh, let me see. I don't think I could. Maybe I could hit it. Let me see. No. Nope. I can't even differentiate between the head and the background. I can see that 10 inch plate really well. Let me just keep pegging it. <laughs> Man. All right. That gopher is just eluding me. Now I've got Mirage City down there. All right, 10 inch plate, it is. All right. I'd say that's not terrible for a first outing at a extended range. I mean, 400 yards is no slouch for an AR, but we've shot these rigs out to six, seven, 800 yards before. Um, and even with like standard ball ammunition, 69 grain match, I shot some 77 grain hand loads out to extend a range in the past, but um, what a killer rig. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this look at uh, this new offering here, the Argos A115 SPR, special purpose rifle. I'd say it serves the purpose quite well. And one other thing I forgot to mention is that um, we are offering optional slings with each rifle from Flatline Fiber Co. These are some of my favorite slings. They're made by a good buddy of mine right here in Locust Grove, Georgia. And um, they're just top-notch quality, lifetime warranty, and every rifle needs a sling, right? So until next time, guys, take care. We have a lot more coming, some very exciting things with the new company. And uh, stay tuned. Appreciate all your support over the years. If uh, y'all hadn't supported us, viewing the channel, um, we wouldn't be in the position right now to be able to step into this new endeavor. So a sincere thank you to all of y'all uh, for liking, subscribing, commenting over the years, and just uh, watching our crazy antics and uh, you know just being there with us. Take care, guys. See you next time. I'm going to get out of this heat and go get me some shade. See ya.